Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony and welcome to another edition of BNA Sports Talk. So today what I want to talk about is Yannick Ngakwe. We're going to do a short little film analysis. I have a couple plays that I want to highlight for you guys and just an overall thing. Should the Giants sign Yannick Ngakwe or trade for him? First of all, we'd have to give up a first overall pick. I made a whole video about it, a whole mock draft and everything like that. Uh, checked out that video after this one, but I'm not sure if you will because I don't want Yannick Ngakwe. I just don't. I, I looked at two games. I looked at the game versus the Jets. Looked at the game versus the Colts. And uh, I want to see a horrible offensive line and a good offensive line. He didn't do anything overly special in both. He had one or two good plays in both games. One, it was just like, okay, uh, he had a great bend around the edge. And he got to the quarterback a strip fumble. But then he goes celebrating by himself. You know, he's pointing to the air. I saw that often where he's just like pointing to the air, celebrating with nobody but himself. And I want to see a teammate guy. I don't want to see a guy that's all about himself, all about his legacy, Justin Tuck, Lawrence Taylor. And that may change with the Giants, but I don't like a guy like that. I don't think Joe Judge will like a guy like that. And, yeah, so that, that's one of the plays. It was a great play, you know, great keen awareness and stuff. But, yeah, that's something I don't like to see. Uh, next, another play is he gives a lackluster effort on a tackle. He runs all the way across the field. And then he just uh, gives a 20% effort on that tackle. It's like, and then he puts his hands up. And he's like, hey, what the hell happened here? It's like, no, no, you didn't give effort on that tackle. That's what happened. And often with number 91, I saw number 41, a.k.a. Josh Allen, do way better than he did. Sometimes he had way better bend around the edges. He had those inside counters. Didn't see that from Yannick Ngakwe. I saw some uh, counter plays. Neither were successful. I think that's more from the Jets and the uh, Colts uh, doing a good job with their offensive line and placement. But Yannick didn't have the burst to go through those holes. He didn't have the, uh, you know, the push and, and the strength to push back a, a left tackle. The, I forgot the game name. It's like Chobe Igua or something like that. That's a horrible pronunciation. But he's like the Jets' uh, like second string left tackle who's ended up going on injured reserve a couple games later. But it's just like he's a bad tackle. He Sometimes, well, most of the time, he'd engage with the tackle and not give up. Sometimes that was for contain, but other times just like, did he just give up on the play? Josh Allen had that, a hook move that was really successful and was able to get him pressures. But Yannick was just like, okay, uh, he just had horrible hand placement, horrible moves. And it wasn't good. He played against Cotton, Cotton Zero from uh, the Colts, the guy who just got signed to a two-year deal, has been there for a while. Uh, so the guy is elite, but he didn't beat him on any plays. And I want a guy to beat that guy. You know, you have teams in this division with, you know, with good offensive tackles. The Cowboys, the Eagles, the Redskins, they've had good offensive linemen. And I don't think Yannick can do it. I think Josh Allen, again, is the better prospect. He's more of a teammate guy, and you see them lined up next to each other. Oftentimes, you see Josh Allen getting closer to the quarterback than Yannick. Uh, Yannick is also not great in the run game. Uh, I see him sometimes he finished tackles just fine, like he cleaned it up, but he was doing work that other people were doing. He's just, he's like, oh yeah, and then he got the final hit and the final tackle. I like seeing guys finish because you don't want to see those guys let go and get more yards. But he didn't do a lot of those plays. He didn't uh, like actively pursue. I didn't see the intensity that I want to see from a defensive end. And that's what I want to see from a Giants fan. I want to see, I want to see grit. I want to see strength. There's one time where he just whispers to his teammate like, yeah, this is what I'm going to do here. And then he does some ballerina spin. I'm like, what are you doing? This is not, you're not in the second grade doing you know, ballerina swirls. Like, and then you see Josh Allen getting pressure on that same play. It's just the, the optics of it. Like how, how do you say that you're some great pass rusher? You want to be like Justin Tuck and you cannot generate pressures on a consistent basis. And if you think about the fit for the Giants, what would he do? Um, like he doesn't have the speed to, for counters. He doesn't have the strength to push guys back. I, I, I he, he's just, I, I don't get it. Um, I, again, I'm not a pro football scout. This is just from what I've seen. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Yannick Ngakwe. I'd rather just take a card on a, uh, you know, a Julian Oquara, a, um, a, a Zabari Zuniga, a, a Curtis Weaver in the third, fourth round rather than pay, like moving back, potentially missing out on a prospect and then paying him $15 million and what he wants. Uh, I don't think he's anything overly special. Now, uh, compared to guys rest in the league like Jadavion Clowney, I haven't done a film analysis on him yet. But from what I've seen with Yannick Ngakwe, Two or three plays. Two or three good plays where he gets bent around the edge. But I want to see that more consistently. His inside counters weren't good. Um, I, I didn't see it. 
I, I really didn't. And yeah, that's pretty much all the plays I wanted to highlight. He did back up in coverage one play where it's just like, what is he doing? And he was even slow on there. Now that just shows. He's, he can't back up if we want to do a, like a linebacker role. So he'd be prominently on the line. And I didn't, I didn't see enough production uh, just, just from the tape. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know you guys think. Should we trade for Yannick Ngakwe? Did you see something differently? Do you want me to watch another game of tape? Because I, I, I was just, I watched two games. It took me two, three hours to go through it. I'm like, I'm just done. If I didn't see anything special and I was wanting more, that's a sign for the Giants. I want a guy that's special. And I'm not overpaying from a guy that's just going to be all right or maybe an upgrade from what we have now. I want a guy that's going to be able to win Super Bowls with us and a guy that I'm confident that will generate consistent pressure. And I just didn't see it. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.